trees and sun. All right, that's a check on your forecast. It's back to sporting life. Let's get exercising. Here's Lori. Yay! <laughs> uh, we're going to continue. That's right, right here at Sporting Life Sherway Gardens. Okay, so we want to tell you about a fantastic 10K, and it's still not too late, and it's for a good cause. Once again, we have your Russell and the ambassador over here. We have here Brent Bishop. Okay, he's going to get me working out. I want to delay it as much as possible. Let's talk about Camp Ooch. Sure. So we've got the Sporting Life 10K uh, for Camp Ooch coming up. That is May the 10th. Um, it's a Sunday, which is awesome. Uh, we've got some great... Uh, New Balance Camp Ooch gear here, where uh, $5 from the sale of every piece of this goes towards Camp Ooch, which is awesome. And again, Camp Ooch is a kids or a camp for kids with cancer. Um, and uh, every dollar we can generate sends more kids to camp, which is awesome. Uh, today is the last day to register for the race still and get a uh, $20 Sporting Life gift card and a $20 New Balance gift card as well. And it is not too late to train. Not at all. It's not too late, Lori. It is not too late. <laughs> one of the originals over here. We uh, we have one of the ambassadors for, uh, you know what, it is pretty, I did it last year. What an incredible experience. 30,000 people all at Young Street. It's amazing. It when, really when is. When else can you ever do that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and the fact that everybody's doing it. Yes. You get one of these medals. I know. To at say, look, you did it. Whether you walk it, run it, whatever. You know, you come out to the, to, out to the race, support an amazing cause, send some kids to camp or help send kids to camp. And you know what? 30,000 people, you said it. It's amazing. When you look back and you see a sea of people coming down Young Street. It's true. And they're all doing the same thing, right? Absolutely. And they're all cheering each other on. So you don't feel like you're doing this by yourself. Yeah. It's for the greater good. Okay. Uh, right. Let's do some working out. So you so need to train. You can't you just do train. it. You know what? One of, the, one of the best things to do is strength training, strength conditioning. You want to stabilize your joints. You want to make sure that your body is able to withstand the impact of running, too. One of the best exercises is a standard lunge. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay. Okay. Burn. So you're okay. going to step forward with your right leg. Okay. Okay. Left knee bent. You want to make sure your knee is directly above the ankle. Mm -hmm. Stay nice and tall, and you're just going to sink right down and okay. back up. You're pushing what if off you that can't, heel. What if you can't sink all the way well, down? Well, you can. So okay. we're good. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> She's trying to get out of it, right? <laughs> Good, good. Why, so why, have, is doing, uh, why is doing a lunge so important when it comes to training? When you're doing a lunge, okay, you're working your glutes, your hamstrings, mm -hmm. uh, your quads. And again, the more you push off your heel, yeah. right, you're going to activate your glute medius, which is a great uh, pelvic stabilizer. And okay? it is medius. It is medius, And maximus. Yes. But that's okay. They're important We're going to do <laughs> maximum running. Uh, also, Camp Booch, today's the last day that you want to be part of the 10K. Please stay with us. I'll switch to the other leg, okay? Well, for let's balance. Go, let's go for a run. We'll be right back.